Heart Sprinkle. Hey guys, what's up? It's Crystal, and today I will be painting some spooky themed items like this super cute ghost that Emma picked out. Let's get started. So I was trying to decide what to do with the ghost and it kind of looked like it needed to hold something. So here it is holding a heart and instead of making it white, I decided to make it pink. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to shade the ghost and decided to use the eraser part of my pencil themed items. That shade of pink, it wasn't working out for me because when it dried, it was like a highlighter pink color. I can't describe it, it was very bright. And I tried making the heart uh, hot pink it was okay <laughs> now here I am starting to do the line art which I shouldn't have done because I just wasn't happy with the colors it was just clashing for some reason I tried to make the shading darker I messed up in the corner there with because um, I got some of the black on there I tried a red heart and I hated it so yeah this project was was starting out badly um, I kind of stumbled through it, but figured out the shading a bit, like this one's a little better. But yeah, <laughs> let me know what you guys think of the colors I used. Um, I don't normally always, like I stick with pink and blue, but today I decided to do purple and it just kind of brought everything together and I'm happy with how everything turned out. I am trying to fix the wonkiness of my heart, but hey, it's a custom painted piece um, it's gonna have imperfections, right? I decided last minute to add these cute little lashes and like chonky looking cheeks to go with the grinning face. It just looks so cute. And also I do these little dots like I always do. And for some reason, <laughs> as soon as I did it, I was like, this is totally giving me SpongeBob jellyfish vibes. So yeah, I don't know what to name this ghost yet, let me know in the comments down below if you have a name suggestion. Totally looks like um, jellyfish. Let me know what you think about that too, if you agree with me. I tried doing the line art like I did with my hearts, but I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, here is the highlights. Gotta have the highlights in there and make them look all juicy and nice. And this is how it turned out with the one layer of glaze. I'm really happy with it and so is Emma. The next piece is this clear ornament. I traced it to kind of sketch out my layout that I had in my mind. I actually made a crochet hook with this design on it, but I wanted an ornament version of it. In my mind, I wanted glitter and I started on that, but it was like too see-through. So I sanded it and put paint on there to try and make the glitter pop. I even used some glow-in-the-dark paint to try and get this glow-in-the-dark glitter to pop out. But I was honestly not um, waiting in between layers like enough dry time and I messed it up so yeah I got glitter everywhere and this is how it turned out I laid it there and just left it there overnight I almost gave up but instead I just had to change my my piece I had to switch the ornament to this flat disc and just use the glitter in the background which looks nice um, and instead of having the glitter glow in the dark I ended up just painting it and I changed the scene with this cute owl. Um, <laughs> but I'm really happy. I love the owl in the tree and that's what my biggest part, I should have made it like a focus thing, but um, I also love cats. So I decided to make the main focus, uh, this cat looking out onto the moonlight. Now you can't really see the difference in the layers other than there's like a darker gray and the black. So I decided to do this like glow effect on the cat, um, like the light bouncing off of it. And I really love how that turned out. I even put glow in the dark paint on the whites of this piece, like on the little twinkling lights, you know, stars in the purple. And last minute added this back to balance it. It looked kind of too much negative space, but this is how it looks. Let me know what you think. This next piece is a tea light holder that I made using a mold and I am putting it on a turntable that way it's easier on your eyes to watch my video because I turn my piece a lot. So I decided to go with the same purple as I had on the heart of the ghost and I was going for a spider theme. Now instead of using white I used black for the webs for some reason and laying this out was kind of hard. I was just kind of trying to go with the flow and it wasn't working out for me. 
This is how it turned out and I hated it. So I decided to redo it. Five layers of gesso and three layers of paint later, I was able to cover up my mess. Now it would have been easier if I wasn't being lazy and sanded it, but I ended up with this Spider-Man looking spider in the middle. Now I wanted to do something geometric because spider webs themselves are geometric, but I went with this dot painting. It was just easier than making messy lines everywhere. <laughs> I'm so happy I made that decision because I enjoyed making this piece. Now, I used to do dot paintings when rock painting and dot paintings were like a thing. Like, it just started a few years ago. I used to do them with my bestie. And I don't know why I stopped because it's very therapeutic to make these dots. It's funny because I always thought when I first started that the dots had to be perfect, but really, they don't. They can be just a little, you know, a little off. I think what it is is the geometric layout of it. It kind of gives the illusion that the circles look more perfect than they actually are. So on the sides here, I decided to add baby spiders. They're little chunky looking spiders. You know, gotta go with the dots, big dot body and a small dot head. And I decided last minute to add these white dots on top of the purple dots because it's a spider web like why isn't it white why do i keep making it a different color <laughs> here i decided to add some detail and mess up this little dot with um some pearl paint i think it turned out nicely uh, just enough detail not too much like i was trying to do earlier with all the lines and whatnot there's the dot again so <laughs> i actually left that dot there because i forgot to change it after <laughs> like fix it after I or before I glazed it so yeah that that messed up dot is forever there <laughs> I added a different shade of purple which I think went nicely with the rest of this piece I actually don't do neon colors very often but I'm very happy that I chose this neon green because I feel like it kind of tied the piece together I'm really digging it I added more details to the sides and even added the neon dots on the spiders and I think it turned out nicely. Here is how everything turned out after I glazed it with one layer of glaze and this is how all the pieces look together. I am very happy with how everything turned out, especially this little ornament. I love how it glows. This is how it looks glowing in the dark. I had to take a picture. But yeah, and then the spider in the tea light, it's funny because when I put it in, you're kind of squishing the spider, but this is how it looks. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.